Hi everyone, here is my second haul of about six books. I already know that my daughter counted these and I have over 200 books, so I'm going to have to put some of these in there um, and make them more than just six. But this one is The Wildflowers of the British Isles. This one is by Gerard and Streeter. There are 295 pages and this book was copy or wrote in 1983. If you hear some background noise, it's uh, my kids. Um, I plan on getting another copy of this. Uh, the one that I did receive, it had a few pages already torn out. Like this one right here already has two pages torn out. Anyway, I plan on getting another copy because this already had at least, I think, five or six pages torn from it. Um, and right off the bat, when you open it, it starts off with the plates. And because this person decided to tear these pages out, it makes it kind of hard to put this page over. Um, and then you have... All of the plate information about each plant back here in the back so it'll tell you plate 96 and it'll tell you what the flowers are on each page these are a rougher feeling they're not smooth um, like the pictures are and I mean, the pictures are beautiful. So like I said, I mean, and these ones are a little bit, like they're not super thin thin, but they're not like thick thick. Um, these are obviously double sided images. So you're gonna have to pick and let, you know, even if you fussy cut or you fold them in half, which I think I'm about to come up on a little section where they pulled out more paper Right here another page missing but it is a beautiful book so that is nice that's my kids TV in the other room I think these are actually sewn in to the book so it should be easy for you to take them out The dimensions on this book, the height of it is 11 and 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, this way, the length for me, that's how I'm doing it, um, is 8 and 5 sixteenths of an inch. And the width here is 1 and 1 sixteenth of an inch. The next book that I have, I have two of these. I did not mean to buy two of these. <laughs> I honestly wish that I would have bought two of these, uh, but uh, I didn't. And when I can, I'll buy another one of those. This is the Illustrated Book of Wildflowers. This book is by Bistro, and I'm not even going to pronounce the other two names because I'm just going to hack the names. I'm not sure they're not on the back right there I just pulled the last names um, right off the bat you have all of the words you have some black and white images now this is not my favorite book so that's why I wish that I didn't have two of these, but it is what it is. Um, so once you get through all that, each section in the book kind of has a page like this, and then it, like this one says, uh, Wasteland. 
um, and they'll kind of, I don't know, other people will probably like this book. I mean, I like it. The images are pretty. I just don't like how it's set up, I guess. It's not my favorite setup. It would have been nice if maybe these were colored, like in some of the colored ones on de to depict the flowers based on color. Um, I thought I saw, yeah, see here, this one says dry grassland. Um, you know, I was thinking in moist grassland, you know, you could cut these down the middle and then I guess you would just kind of have to pick and choose which, um, flower you want, but you could use this as a bookmark or do some type of, I don't even know. But this is what majority of the book is. I mean, it is. I mean, there's a pretty decent amount of writing, but each flower has a description, so that's nice. The height of the book is 11 and 7 eighths of an inch. The length is 8 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. And the width here is 1 and 1 eighths of an inch. I bought this off of worldofbooks.com. It was the UK site, and this was, I think, like 8 euros. And then you have to pay $2.00. Um, a sh for shipping per book. So if you, like I said in the last video, if you order 10 books, you're going to have to pay $20 in shipping. So even if you just decided to pick one book, then you still have to pay $2 in shipping. This one did not come... Okay, this book is called Wild Flowers of the World. Barbara Everhard, Everhard and Brian Marlowe, Marley. This didn't come with a cover like the ones you might find online. This is just how it came. The dimensions of this book, real quick, it's 12 by nine and one fourths and one and three eighths. Beautiful, and I think that when you buy it with the cover and it comes with the cover, I believe this is the actual cover picture, but I could be wrong. Some maps. So you got all this hoopla, you got a glossary, and then you get this. And these are one-sided, so you don't have to pick which side of images you want to use. You can fussy cut, or you could even just, you, you could, you know, rip the page out, fold it in half and use it as a journal page. Um, on the back here, it gives you the information. This information goes with this. This information does not go with this. So this is what I was saying. Like I would have rather have had two of these than two of those other books just based on how they're set up. I prefer them like this than I do in columns like that. Uh, these pictures or the pages are more of a soft, thinner, like they're not like thick, thick. but they're not super thin. They have more of a matte finish than they do a semi-gloss or gloss to them. I bought this off of worldofbooks.com off the UK site and I wanna say I paid 
like 12 or 15 euros, maybe 20. But the most that I've ever paid for for a book off that site was $29.99. And that was for two books, but they were brand new books. One of them I received. The other one I'm still waiting on. I've never had that issue before with that website. I'm missing one book. And then I'm waiting for one order to finally come in. And the thing is, is if you order off of World of Books, you have to understand that you're going to be waiting like a month before your books come. Three to four weeks. And right now, for the last two books that I'm supposed to receive, I am over four weeks now. So it's a little annoying. This one is called The Small Garden. This is by Sue and Roger Norman and Polly Boltman and Laylee Locks. Cox, sorry. This is a paperback book. These are pretty thick pages. Um, and these are obviously more realistic. Um, pictures they do have a few drawings in them which like I said that's what I usually partake to and what I like is the drawings um, obviously you have to pick whether or not you want double-sided images you know you're gonna have to decide like that's really pretty to me just having a some of those drawn in ones make it worth it and I only paid I think a dollar to three dollars for this book but you know just in case you find something like this or you see it online you know what it looks like inside it's a little book review So yeah, and it's paperback, um, the dimensions 7 and 13 sixteenths, 7 and 11 sixteenths, and this is 3 fourths of an inch. This is the Reader's Digest uh, to a nature, it's a Reader's Digest Nature Lover's Library, a field guide to the wild flowers of Britain. Um, there's 448 pages in this. I don't think I said how many were in the last book. Uh, there was 224 pages in the small garden in this book here. Um, For the author, it, I know this had multiple authors. It didn't really just have one. I mean, it says it right here for the artist. So, and of course, my, my camera wants to be awful. So this book here is by a whole bunch of different people. I gotta speed this up <laughs> a little bit. Um, but you do have to pick, this has 448 pages. They do have a little thing in the corner of what it does really look like in real life. And then it has an illustration, which is nice. These are semi-gloss. And yeah, 
You can fussy cut these, just use them as pages. The dimensions, five and 13 sixteenths, seven and 13 sixteenths, and one inch. And the last book for this haul, or video, last but not least is the Flower Color Theory Book. Um, and they have the last name of Pootman, um, Drotch, and Michael Pootman. Um, this book is 482 pages. Um, the one thing, it's realistic flowers, and it has all these color codes of what color of flowers are inside. And then what's nice, the only thing I don't like is how the image is cut right down the middle um, of the page. So if you were to take this apart, you're going to get this flower on one side and then on the other side of that page, like you're not going to get the whole flower together. Um, and then in the back, they have these really neat, they have like the, they show you the flower. I know my camera, the zooming in and everything is awful. Um, You can't okay whatever um but they have it to where it's like perforated so you can take that whole thing out and it has all the colors so yeah this was the last one for this video of this haul my next video is probably going to be a lot longer with some more books in it and i'll have some more videos coming too the rest of this week all right well hopefully you like and subscribe and hopefully you enjoyed it and this will be helpful for you. Bye.